so when I assign one zone as guard axis and then if I arm the panel this particular zone is also into monitoring mode and the delay whatever we programmed for exit zones or entry slash exit zone is applicable to this guard axis zone also but when I arm this panel in stay arming mode this particular guard axis zone will be bypassed that means even if the zone get activate the panel will not activate the sounder the scenario to program one zone as guard axis is example there is a warehouse or a shop you had installed one shutter contact on the shutter and you also connected one PIR or motion sensor at the entrance covering towards this shutter area so example you are connecting uh, shutter contact on zone 1 and you are programming that as entry exit 1 and this PIR you are connecting on zone 2 that you are programming as guard axis so normally what we the what you used to do the panel will be installed inside the shop so when you go out you will arm the panel and then you come out from the shop so while coming out from the shop first this PAR will detect you and then you cross this area and close the shutter and go away from this area so the advantages of this guard axis on a particular zone is if even if you arm it and cross those area the panel will not goes into alarm till the exit delay complete so within this exit delay you can cross this particular uh, motion sensor coverage area you can come out you can close this shutter contact and you can go out so whatever the delay time you are programming for the exit zone that time is applicable to this guard axis zone also so next day you are coming and when you open the shutter the shutter contact zone will get activated since the entry delay is programmed on the panel the panel will wait till the entry delay time ends then you will cross this PAR area PAR also will detect that means zone 2 will also get activated but still the panel won't goes into alarm panel will not activate the alarm till the entry delay complete so within this time you can enter into in, inside the office or inside the shop and you can disarm it using the password so the advantages of programming one zone as guard axis is whatever the exit delay you are assigning to a exit zone is applicable to this guard axis zone also so while exiting the premises this delay is applicable as well as while entering into this premises also this exit delay is applicable to this guard axis zone also but one more condition in case if you are exited from the premises but next day or the same day the exit zone is or next day if you are coming inside first the exit zone should activate then this guard axis zone should activate then only the panel will wait for this exit entry delay if example but if someone enter into the office in some other route that means by breaking some glass windows or doors and then if he cross this particular PIR which he has programmed as guard axis then the panel will not wait for any delay it will activate the sounder immediately so the point is a zone which is programmed as guard axis is having entry delay as well as exit delay is applicable but the entry delay is 
applicable only first the entry exit zone should activate then if this guard exit zone activate then this timing is applicable if not the panel will not wait for the delay and it will immediately activate the sounder so whenever you do a zone as guard axis you need to do one more setting in the attributes one that is you need to press no and press 3 here so once you press 3 part 1 omit that means when you when you do the stay arming this particular zone will get omitted so that's all so then you can just press yes continuously and it will go to zone wiring type so zone wiring normally it will be into double pole UIL you need to press no and select normally closed using up or down arrow and press yes so any zone programming you need to do only these two or three settings so zone type and zone wiring type so now zone 2 has completed now I am going to do the programming of zone <coughs> 3 for that just I am pressing the down arrow it is by default it will come as a guard so which sensor need to be programmed as guard so if you arm the panel and then if the zone get activate the panel should goes into alarm if not the panel should not goes into alarm those zones need to be programmed as guard so normally you arm the panel in the evening after arming the panel and then if the zone get activate the panel should activate the sounder and if the panel is in disarm condition if the zone get activate the panel should not activate the alarm so those zones need to be programmed as guard so what are the sensors we can program as guard like you if it's a residential application you have you may have a door sensor in the kitchen door or balcony door or a windows or you may have some vibration sensors you may have some motion sensors or pir in the hall kitchen area so all these sensors so can be programmed as guard so whenever you arm the panel it will in active condition and whenever you disarm the panel the panel will not give alarm even if the sensor activate so those sensors can be programmed as guard so most of the sensors in a project we need to use the zone type as guard only so you can press yes then what need to do you need to change only the wiring type so by default the wiring type will be in double pole ul press the no button and change it into normally close and press yes so so that is the way you can do the programming so in this moment if you do some mistakes you want to do uh, you want to come uh, come out and you do you want to do the programming again you just simply press this notepad symbol it will come do you want to exit and log off you just press yes it will exit again you can start to do the programming by pressing one two three four it will have zone setup yes again you want to do, uh, you can using arrows button you can come to the required zones or by entering the correct zone number zero zero four also you can reach to the required zone number so zone 4 you can program it as required so now in the zone phone phone is selected now we want to change it into some other zone type example i want to change it into pa audible so press no and using the down arrow you can change it as required pa audible and click s yes. so why i changed this pa audible here some of the sensors like panic switch are uh, LPG gas detector so, uh, those sensors ne need to be programmed as PA audible that means it is a 24 bar 7 monitoring zone so the panel will not check whether I am into arm condition or into disarm condition once that particular zone activate it will immediately activate the sounder so those sensors need to be programmed as PA audible so I changed the zone type in into PA audible then press yes don't do uh, don't need to change any settings here only we can go to 
wiring type yes press no and change it into if it is normally closed wiring yes normally closed and press yes so like that you can do all the eight zones programming so how to change it to example zone 5 if you press down arrow zone 5 has come if you are not using you can press no and by using up arrow you can select as not use then click yes then down arrow zone 6 no you can using up arrow not use press yes down arrow zone 7 so like this you can complete all 8 zone programming and now you can exit from the menu by pressing this notepad symbol two times so do you want to exit and log off yes so that's all about zone programming now we want to clear the fault showing on the panel so panel uh, timbre and battery is not connected so now if i don't want to monitor these two fault i can temporarily bypass it by pressing one two three four zone setup you can press down arrow you can go to global option yes and there could be if you press down arrow there will be option called monitor hardware yes you can press yes here you need to disable it uh, three two three parameters so for changing these settings first you need to press no then you need to press one and you need to press six six means the panel timbre fault will not monitor and if you press seven the battery will not get monitored by the panel so now we disable these three parameters and press yes any changes you uh, do you need to press yes save it so now you can come back by pressing this menu button so after a few seconds so now the, all the faults are removed now the panel is almost ready to use now you need to do some basic few more settings like again in the global option you can go and you in that you have a option to see what are the zones are in active condition so you go to global options go to global options yes you have a option called system config yes here you need to enable 56 so you select 56 option yes then press no and then click yes so what is the advantage of this particular uh, menu is even if any zone is in active condition any zone is in active condition the panel will display it here i had connected two zones the zone one with a door contact connected with a door contact and zone two is connected with a uh, taxicam vibration sensor so since it's a door contact i just use only a two core cable and get connected with my door sensor and the second zone is a vibration sensor i had connected that is why i connected four wire two wire get connected with auxiliary plus and minus to power up my sensor and other two wire got connected with zone two terminal so if you if you want to check the sensor status here if i open any door sensor i can easily know the zone one is active if i close this this will get normal and if i vibrate it if i get vibrate this particular uh, zone that means vibrate vibration sensor the zone is going to alarm condition so this is the initial level of testing the panel and sensor before commission the system so next option is uh, you can you need to do some uh, area programming settings so to do that that means you need to do some entry and exit delays and all so to do that go to menu again one two three four zone setup down arrow area programming yes timers yes you you here you can do the exit delay so what is it mean by exit delay so you had connected some sensor uh, at the main door or main shutter contact and once you on the panel you need some delay or uh, you need some time to come out and close the window or, or close the door or close the shutter so those delay is called exit delay so here it is in 30 second if you want to change it press no then if it, if you record 20 second 0 to 0 
and then press yes so now it changed into 20 second then if you press yes again now entry delay what is mean by entry delay so next day if you are coming uh, and if you open the door or if you open the shutter the sensor get activated but the panel should not goes into alarm uh, so that they, uh, so you you may you can open the shutter and you can come to the panel and you can disarm it so that delay is called entry delay that also you can change as you require press no and change the value example here also i'm just setting as 25 change the value and press yes so this is called entry delay and exit delay so you can program it so if required uh, sound uh, bell duration also if required you can change it from this particular menu so after doing this you can come out from the menu by pressing this options again you have one more setting on the same menu you can go to the same menu like 1 2 3 4 instead of down arrow you can press 2 also to that area program instead of one time down arrow you can press 2 directly you can go to area programming you can press yes timers just press down arrow arming mode so arming mode yes here by default it's a entry slash exit no you want to change it into timed exit because you are setting some time for exit from the premises that's it you press no and you can press you can using this down arrow you can change it into timed exit and click yes here so that's all so you can come out from the menu using this so these are the basic programming you have to do using this panel now if you want to arm the panel yes you can arm it by using the password called 5678 this is the default user password so that the panel will give the exit delay warning and within this period you can exit from the premises so since i given 20 seconds it will give this notification for 20 seconds and you can exit so now the panel is fully armed so after this if any zone get activate the sounder will get activate immediately if you want to disarm it yes you can press 5 6 7 8 it will ask do you want to disarm it yes you can disarm it so other parameters what you need to do or we, what you need to know means you need to set the date and time so to do set the date and time 1 2 3 4 zone setup you can using down arrow you can go to engineer utilities yes engineer utilities you can press yes here you there will be option set date and set time so set system time yes press yes you can give the right value whatever the numbers yes times so come down set date is there you can press yes you can set the date whatever the date you can set the date based on the same you can save it and one more setting available on this engineer utilities yes uh, there will be a confirm device menu will be available in this engineer utilities yes from this you can come to know that what are the devices are detected my panel so from here you can come to know that rkp remote keypad one is get connected there is no other things are connected in some of the scenario customer may ask to change the user password so to change this press one two three four zone setup using down arrow you can go to uh, setup user yes here user 2 you need to press up arrow user 1 is the master user the corresponding default password is 5678 if they want to change it now you press yes it will ask uh, to set the new password you can change it as you required 989898 what are the six digit number or maximum six digit number you can give if you don't want six digit if you want only four digit you can give four digit and press yes or five digit you can give the number and press yes then just keep on pressing yes that's all so once you set up then you can come out from the menu thank you